welcome. My name is Mo Moon. I am doing a Celtic Cross spread reading today. Uh, I just thought I wanted to do a little video, um, not that something that didn't take too much time and something that would be it, allowing me to read my tarot cards um, without having to do a whole process of getting ready for the video. So this is going to be a positive message, hopefully, um, for anyone who's interested. I actually got this idea from uh, to do a Celtic Cross reading as a video from a girl named Bell Music on YouTube. Um, I really like her channel. I feel like her reading is always really motivational and interesting and inspiring. So if you want to go check out Bell Music, you can go ahead and do that. Like I said, she does um, just videos where she just reads the Celtic Cross spread and that's the message. So I just figured instead of doing a pick a card or instead of doing a full on like, uh, you know, set up for a tower reading as a video, I just thought I'd come on quickly and do a, a little spread. I'm using my Light Sears Tarot because I want this to be a positive message. So. Um, I do find that this is a really positive and uplifting tarot deck. The, the pictures are full of color and um, their vibration their, their vibration is high. They're very um, vibrant colors. So yeah, the Celtic Cross um, tarot spread has 10 cards and each card represents a different subject matter. So the first card represents the situation. The second card represents the challenge. The third card represents beliefs. The fourth card represents root of the issue or distant past. The fifth card represents near past. The sixth card represents near future. The seventh card represents self-perception. The eighth card represents outside influences and or how others perceive you. The ninth card represents action advice and the 10th card represents likely outcome. So hopefully this will be an interesting reading for, for, for you all. Um, so let me know how you like this reading when it's done. Um, a card popped out and it's the sun card. So I think that's an indication of what this reading is going to be like for us today. Card number 10, the sun card. Actually, the sun card is my favorite tarot card. My sister asked me that the other day. What is your favorite tarot card? And I had to say it was the sun card because there's just so much positivity in that card. And also just the fact that I love the sun. I love the light. Um, you know, that hasn't always been the case in my life. Sometimes I've been more of a creature of the dark, but in, in these new days of, you know, my life, I, I'm so drawn to the sun and I'm so drawn to the power that the sun has on like earth and uh, mother nature and even on us, like the fact that we get our vitamin D from the sun and that inc increases our mood and makes us happier. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put the cards down. Card one represents the situation. Card two represents the challenge. Card three represents beliefs. Card four represents root of the issue and or distant past. Card five represents near past. Card six represents near future. Card seven represents self-perception. Card eight represents outside influences and or how others perceive you. Card nine represents action advice. And card 10 represents the likely outcome. So I thought I'd take advantage of the sun that's shining here today. I know I just finished doing a little talk about the sun and how I love it. But you see, I'm in front of a window and the sun's shining directly on me. And I just love, love, love it. So let's go ahead and see what the message is today from Divine Source Spirit Universe. So card one represents the situation. Let's see what the card one is. King of Pentacles. And as I'm looking at this card, I'm seeing that there's a little bit of a fold in it. But we have the King of Pentacles. And I think um, one of the messages about the situation is that things aren't always going to feel perfect. Things aren't always going to be perfect uh, looking in our lives. We may look at other people's lives and we may think, oh, that person has a perfect life. But at least now, one thing that we know with the pandemic is that nobody's life is easy right now, right? So even though in the past we may have looked at people's lives and thought, oh, that person has the perfect life, they're not going through anything difficult. The thing that is um, 
happening right now with with the virus is is allowing us to at least understand that everybody is kind of going through a difficult process right now and the king of pentacles is relaxed in this card and just uh sitting with his you know dog here and sitting on a couch in his book in his book room with the bookshelves and uh, with the pentacle on his lap and and just uh he's got like a happy face on and he's really laid back and relaxed so i feel like the situation for us right now is that um we are feeling more relaxed especially the fact that the pandemic has been happening for uh, about a year <clears throat> we're also kind of settling into excuse me settling into how this pandemic is um is affecting us like we're kind of finding ways to cope um with uh the pandemic and kind of finding ways to say like my sister sent us uh, my sister elizabeth sent us uh the sisters in my family we have a sister's page called the goddess page and my sister sent us uh an article about how we're learning to deal with the pandemic in ways that maybe we never dealt with difficulties before, but, you know, taking a shower on a daily basis to make us feel better, doing our makeup, getting dressed, even if we're just staying home, you know, um, of course, there's some days where you just want to stay in your pajamas, but I think that the motivational part of getting ready is uh, a big, uh, reason for why sometimes in the day we can feel more productive like because we got ready we took a shower we did our makeup we put our clothes on and you know that means that we're ready for the day so this king of pentacles is saying like be in control of your life and do the things that that you've been doing during this pandemic time that have been working for you to make you feel good and not just to make you feel um it's like a new Sorry, I got a phone call. So the new norm is the new pandemic way of feeling good. So the new pandemic way of feeling good is getting ready in the day, you know, um, journaling, um, going for walks, um, learning that life is not always going to be easy, but that you're going to get through it despite the fact that you may have bouts of anxiety or loneliness, you know, learning how to reach out to people that are in your life um, for support. I do feel like the King of Pentacles with the situation, uh, representing the situation is really saying, um, you know, we're at home now, we're, we're doing more at home things, but we're learning to find comfort in the little things that we do. And those little things that we do that we're finding comfort in, those are the things that are making us feel good. And even though they're not the same things that we used to do to make us feel good, they're still what, what is working for us today. So the second card is the challenge. And we have the wheel. Card number 10. So the challenge is balance, right? The challenge is believing that the wheel is turning in our favor because sometimes we think that, I was just listening to a podcast, um, Evolve with Emily. If you are interested, go check it out on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And she was saying that sometimes we think that it's only the good things that are working for us. But sometimes we have to realize that it's e even when things go bad, things are still working in our favor because things are turning in a direction that we perceive them as being bad, but they're actually helping us out in the long run. So I think with the challenge, it's just believing that, you know, even through the bad times, things are turning in our favor and that in the long run, things are going to work out. And just having the balance to know that um, despite difficulties, you know, things are always going to be working out and turn and the wheel is turning in our favor. And also to remember to stay at the center of the wheel. Sometimes it feels like the things are things are turning around us really quickly and we we're, we're getting dizzy and we're losing control. But if you stay at the center of the wheel, at the center of the wheel, it's almost like things aren't turning because it's the spoke and it's it's there to, to give the wheel balance. And so if you stay at the center of the wheel, you can keep your balance despite the fact that the wheel around the spoke is turning. So that was challenge. The third card is belief, beliefs. The lovers, card number six of the major arcana, the lovers. 
So believing in love, believing in loving yourself and finding that you are your your biggest uh, cheerleader. Um, this card represents belief. So believing that the people that tell you that they love you really do love you, like the people in your life, like your family members, believing in in the fact that you are loved, that you are cared for. Um, this is what you are believing right now in order to feel good about yourself. You're believing that love is on your side and that you know, um, you and I are, are guarded by the power of love and that, you know, this, the universe source is mother earth is always, they're always showing us love and they're always, um, you know, on our side rooting for us. And, uh, love is the, the, the strongest vibration. Love is the most powerful energy. And so if you believe in the fact that you are, guarded by love you are led by love you are your purpose is love and if you do if you believe that your purpose is love then no matter what you do in life as long as you are being yourself and demonstrating that lovely aspect of yourself of love then you are doing your life's purpose and I think that that's one of the things that we need to believe is that our life purpose is not specifically, you know, reading tarot for a living or working at a hospital for a living or um, working at a grocery store for a living or, you know, working for the government for a living or working for, you know, um, the city for a living. If you believe that your purpose is just to show love wherever you are, then whatever you are doing in life, all those things that I mentioned, if you can just be yourself and vibrate on a level of love, then you are doing your life's purpose. And if you lose your job and you get another job, you're still doing your life's purpose because you're vibrating on the on the frequency of love. And so I do believe that that is one of the strongest beliefs that we can have is that as long as we are demonstrating love to the people around us, no matter what job we're doing, we are doing our life's purpose. So the fourth card is root of the issue or distant past and it's the empress so the empress is root of the issue and distant past and i'm getting a feeling of like what with this being the distant past what the world used to look like um is that there was a lot of you know we were we were we were going through a serious case of global warming and the environment was, um, you know, suffering greatly, you know, Mother Earth was suffering greatly. And ever since, you know, the pandemic, from what I've read and heard, Mother Earth has been doing better. The dolphins have been coming back to um, Venice because the waters are clearer and, you know, the, the sky is less polluted and, um, you know, just just that the earth is starting to heal based on the fact that we are slowing down as globally we are slowing down because of the pandemic um it it reminds me of the fact that this empress card reminds me of that the distant past being that just in the distant past past mother earth was trying to live breathe have her being support us and we were living so quickly and so so viciously that mother earth couldn't couldn't survive and she was breaking down and and you know we were worrying about how you know we would sustain the planet with the way that we had to live and the distant past is that that is how we used to live we used to live really quickly and and the root of the issue is how are we going to live when this is all over when the pandemic is all over the root of the issue is are we going to remember our lesson that Mother Earth was suffering and that when we slowed down, she was able to heal herself to great extents. Are we going to remember that Mother Earth is important? Are we going to remember that, you know, she is happy when we are happy? Yes, but also she is happy when we are living, you know, on our highest uh, behavior, on our best behavior, when we're paying attention to her and, um, you know, not just taking care of ourselves, but taking care of nature and the animals around us. 
and you know the emperor is also representing you know you know nurture a mother nurturing and and caring for her child um you know the root of the issue is are we going to care for our mother the way she cared for us you know when when you're growing up and your mother's taking care of you and then you know when you're old older and your mother is much older than you and the roles are reversed and you're taking care of your mother she can't take care of herself i feel like that's the root of the issue is that mother earth you know she's been around for so long and we've been her children and are we going to take care of her the way she took care of us when we were young um i think that's what the root of the issue is with the empress card So the next card we have is near past and we have strength and I told you this was going to be a positive reading strength card number eight of the major arcana this is the near past and of course we've been demonstrating a lot of strength um putting up with you know the lockdowns and learning to uh support ourselves and, and be on be in a happy place and you know, um, listen to the rules and, you know, do wear our masks, not just for ourselves, but for the people around us. Strength isn't just being strong for yourself. Strength is being strong for other people. And that doesn't mean that you always have to be strong because it's not easy to always be strong and always be the one that's supporting everyone else because sometimes we need support too. But the near past is just that we've demonstrated so much strength in our lives by living through this difficult, difficult time of the pandemic globally. So many people have lost loved ones. So many people have lost friends, family members, children, um, parents, you know, uncles, um, you know, even, I mean, I, I feel like things have changed in a sense for the better, but I do think that a lot of people have, sh have had to show great strength by putting um, up with so much death and destruction and there's a strength that comes from within where um, you know a lot of things have changed in order to support um, allowing us to survive through this pandemic and a lot of people have had to find different jobs because their jobs have been cancelled for them and so they've had to start new jobs. And despite the fact that they may have been at a job for, you know, a number of years, and now all of a sudden they're doing a completely different job. And it kind of touches again on the fact that if you are living in your highest strength, which is living at the vibration of love, then you are doing your life's purpose. And no matter what job you do, you're going to be doing your life's purpose. So the strength card for the near past is saying we've demonstrated a lot of strength in the near past just recently just in the recent past we've demonstrated a lot of strength by being strong for ourselves and being strong for others and wearing our masks to protect ourselves and wearing our masks to protect other people and washing our hands and you know um you know just taking care of being hygienic in order to prevent spreading the virus so we've demonstrated a lot of strength in that respect being strong for ourselves and being strong for others the next card we have is near future card number six and we have the nine of pentacles for near future and so i think that this card that the nine of pentacles is saying that we're learning to be independent in the sense that we're learning to rely on ourselves to uh on, to, to feel good because you know when it comes down to it we yes we have a lot of support from our friends and family members hopefully you know hopefully you have the support of a good friend or some friends or some family members or a parent or or you know um a colleague you know hopefully you have that support but the near future with the nine of pentacles is saying that um you know when all is said and done at the end of the day and you go home and you're by yourself in your house what are you doing to encourage yourself what sort of podcasts are you listening to to feel encouraged what sort of youtube channel are you listening to to find encouragement um what sort of music are you playing to encourage yourself what are the practices that you're doing to encourage yourself and so yes there's a lot of message of 
of community in this reading, but there's also the message of the nine of pentacles for the, for the near future being at the end of the day, let's say your partner is out working and you're at home alone, which is my case because I'm not working as frequently as my partner. At the end of the day, when I'm home alone, what are the things that I'm doing? What are the books that I'm picking up to read? What are the hobbies that I'm taking part in that will encourage me to feel like I'm being productive and to feel like I'm a benefit to society? And I feel like that's what the near future is with this sixth card, the nine of pentacles is saying, remember that there's also the idea that you have to be independent. You have to learn how to take care of yourself too, because at the end of the day, you are the only one who is taking care of yourself um, all the time, you know, 24 seven. There are times when we have that support from other people, but at the end of the day, 24 seven, you're the one who's looking after yourself. And so the nine of pentacles is saying, how are you being independent to look after yourself in the near future? The next card we have is self-perception, card number seven. The two of pentacles. Wow. Self-perception is that you're staying balanced. You're staying balanced. You're learning how to um, grieve. You're learning how to be happy and joyful. Um, you're learning how to accept, you know, all the different emotions that you're feeling and you're learning how to identify those emotions and identify the situations that you're in in order to make yourself feel like you're balanced and even though things have to move with the two of pentacles um you know there's no stagnancy with the with the two of pentacles it's like things are moving um you know and uh how are you staying balanced in, in movement, you know, because this is meaning that there's no stagnancy. There's no, you know, um, despondency here. It's not like, you know, things have settled. This card representing self-perception is, is representing the fact that you perceive yourself and I perceive yourself as evolving uh, individuals. We are evolving with our situation around us. You know, one minute there's a lockdown, the next minute, the lockdown is off. One minute the non-essential businesses are closed. The next minute they're opening them up. You know, um, one minute, you know, you, you know, the just situations of the pandemic are very uncertain from day to day. We have a certain amount of time that we're given for, for here where I live. Um, you know, there's a curfew um, that is started at eight o'clock at night. And I don't know when this curfew is going to end because they haven't talked about taking the curfew off, but they have talked about opening non-essential businesses to a certain degree. Um, what I mean by that is they're going to open up certain areas of stores that were considered non-essential so that we can start buying products that are non-essential, you know, again. So that is good. That's a good thing because a lot of people, you know, the, the, uh, the, um, products that are considered non-essential to a lot of people, to some people, they are essential. And so they haven't been able to buy those products in stores. So they've been shopping on Amazon or, you know, um, other, other places where they can get these non-essential items to their door or in their lives. And, you know, so this two of pentacles is saying self-perception is that you're, you're balancing yourself. You're learning how to deal with the changes that are taking place in your life and you're learning how to do that with grace and uh and stability finding stability for yourself despite the fact that there's a lot of movement you're finding stability in the movement finding how to balance like a juggler there's there's constant movement but the juggling is is balanced the way that the the juggler is throwing the ball is balanced one ball lands here the other one has to be in the air the other one has to be in the other hand and constantly turning and turning there's a balance in the movement in order to keep that uh, movement happening the next card we have is outside influences and how others perceive you so we have the eight of wands and I want to say with color, others perceive you as being colorful. Other one, others, your outside influences are colorful as well, because this represents outside influences and how others perceive you and, you know, reaching for the stars. Others perceive you as reaching for the stars, um, as reaching for your highest good, as reaching for 
um, the greatest endeavor that you could take, you know, not limiting yourself just because things are limited, but reaching for uh, your highest uh, success and um, your outside influences that others are reaching for their highest success as well. Um, a lot of people around you and around me are trying to stay positive and trying to stay productive and trying to stay at peace with themselves and they're finding ways interesting ways to keep that productiveness feeling going and to keep you know themselves happy and vibrant and pointed towards the highest good um and i do feel like with these wands all pointing towards the stars there's a sense that you know the community is all the all the community are reaching towards something greater reaching to, and 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 hoping towards something greater as well hoping to, towards there being uh you know health one day health for everybody you know a vaccine that will take care of everyone's health and that will will prevent the fear of catching covid and dying you know or getting very sick um so there's a lot of um forward thinking for the outside influences and how others perceive you. Others are perceiving you the way they're perceiving themselves. They're perceiving you as struggling just like they're struggling. And yet, you know, we have to keep, we have to keep dreaming. We have to keep hoping. We have to keep looking towards the future and looking towards a greater time when we'll be able to travel again or see our loved ones or hug our, our friends or, you know, meet up at a, at a coffee shop or go to a movie and see a good movie, you know, um, all these things that we used to love. And it's not to say that we have to go back and live the way we used to live, because remember, we had Mother Earth who was t teaching us to live differently, but just to um, teach us with the aid of wands to enjoy life, but um, to a certain degree where we are able to sustain life on the planet as well. The next card we have is action advice, card number nine. We have the four of pentacles, action advice. And the four of pentacles here, I think she's saying, don't, don't put your guard up. You know, your action advice is don't put your guard up. Um, it's easy to feel closed to positivity it's easy to feel close to not wanting to let anybody in um you know but don't put your guard up remember that you know you are part of a greater purpose you are part of a greater community um you know the that you're vibrating at the frequency of love and that your your purpose here is is important and it's necessary um action advice is just believe in yourself with the four of pentacles believe that you know there will be a rest taking place you know you had the two of pentacles and i had the two of pentacles for self-perception with the movement and um action advice with the four of pentacles is saying there will be times of rest it won't always have it have to be balancing and juggling um and uh, seeing ourselves as constantly having to move, um, especially now that it's, you know, winter time here in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, you know, we're experiencing quietness, we're experiencing calmness, you know, there isn't much movement outside in, in, the, in nature, there's not much movement from the animals happening, you know, but we can see spring approaching, we can see new life approaching, and just keep having that hope, action advice is keep having that hope that, you know, things will look up, that the four of pentacles will bring you that balance that you're not always going to have to move to receive. Um, but sometimes there is movement that has to take place, and sometimes there is a, a slowdown and a stop and just an appreciation. And the last card we have is likely outcome. The Ten of Cups, what a beautiful way to end this reading with the likely outcome. And I told you that this would be a positive reading and we've had all positive cards and I love this Light Sears Tarot deck. But the Ten of Cups for the likely outcome is just peace, tranquility, you know, despite the difficulties, color in our lives, you know, um, family, you know, support, um, emotional fulfillment, even though we may be feeling all different 
spectrums of emotions with all the different cups being different colors that we are just feeling at one with humanity that we're feeling at one with society at large that we're feeling at one with each other that this pandemic is actually bringing us together globally because we're all going through this pandemic we're all feeling connected by this pandemic despite the fact that this pandemic is deadly and it's horrible it's bringing us together to believe that we're all struggling and we all need to support each other for our for our our greater good all of us for our greater good so it's so beautiful because as i've been reading for the past 20 minutes with this celtics cross spread the sun has come in and shone and shone its light on me and i'm so grateful for having you here and for listening to this message if you if you listen to the full message i hope it was really helpful um again my name is mo moon and i will see you in my next video oh yes i also wanted to say i have 2021 zodiac sign readings on my channel so if you want to find out what um, your year has in store for you month for month i have each of the 12 zodiac signs um, that i've done readings for for 2021 and they're all on my channel if you just um, scroll through my videos you can find your zodiac sign reading for the year ahead to see what your year has in store for you but besides that i hope you have a good day i'll, I'll see you in my next video bye <music>